Hello, my name is Toto, and I'm the dog from the movie and the book, The Wizard of Oz. I'm here to set the record straight about what really happened when Dorothy and I got caught in the tornado and ended up in the land of Oz. Everyone thinks that Dorothy was the clever one in that story, except Dorothy and that cowardly lion and that tin man and the straw guy wouldn't have made it if it hadn't been for me. For one thing, none of them had the slightest sense of direction. Anytime they stopped for any direction, they never knew where they're heading. They knew they were supposed to follow the Yelbeck Road, but half the time, they started following it the wrong way, going back where they started, instead of going toward the wizard. I had to bark and run forward until they followed me. It was tough work, being the leader of the pack. The lion kept cowling and hiding behind trees, at the slightest sound. Even though I told him I'd protect him. The straw man kept flopping over. And I'd have to nudge him with my nose to keep him upright. The tin man squeaked so much it hurt my ears. I finally sniffed out an oil can so Dorothy could unrust him. Of course. After that, he smelled like three in one oil. But that was better. Then the constant squeaks. Dorothy herself was practically useless. How helpful was it to stand around singing about rainbows when we really needed was a good sandwich and a bed to sleep in? Yes. If it had been left up to the rest of the crew, we might be still on the dithering along the yellow brick road. Luckily, I was there to urge them on. When I arrived at our destination, the guard turned and Dorothy and turned Dorothy and the others down flat. In fact, he slammed the door in their faces. Fortunately, I was there. I barked and scratched at the wizard's door until the guard got tired of listening to me yap. Of course, I'm the brave one who went for it and pulled down the curtain where the wizard was hiding. So-called wizard. Even in the movie version, it shows that. But even so, the munchkins all cheered. Hooray for Dorothy. Instead of, hurry for Toto. To be fair, I know that Dorothy does love me. It's just, she underestimates my work. The whole movie is about how wonderful that the lion gets courage, and the straw man gets a brain, and the tin man gets a heart. Nobody seems to notice that I had all of those attributes. And it's a good thing that I do. My brain led us on to Oz. My courage uncovered the wizard's trickery, and my heart showed the others what true friendship is. Wouldn't you think, at the very least, the good witch Glinda could have provided some dog biscuits? That's how your whole life should be, one adventure after another. Stanley Cuspin, a friend of mine in civics class, hitched thousands of miles and sent me postcards about turning in a 49 Ford and seeing God in a dentist office in Boca Baton. He had a cavity and went to the dentist who gave him nitrous oxide gas and he pressed this ball in his hand to get a really good dose. It controlled the flow of the gas. And when he went under, he said he found himself in a labyrinth. And when he looked down one hallway, he saw God running around the corner. So he ran after God. But then, God disappeared around the next corner. Then he ran after him again. But God disappeared around the next corner, and the next, and the next. And when Stanley finally came to, he said he was punching the dentist and the dental assistant. And he had never seen this exuberant displays in his life said it was the most thrilling adventure he had ever had.